My name is Charity Gorbach. I am the SED Clinical Supervisor at Samaritas, serving in our Ottawa um, locations, so Grand Haven and Holland. As a clinical supervisor, I work with all of our staff between the two locations, and I also work with implementation of programs and new growth. Uh, my, my name is Marsha Rapley. Um, my role here is a SED professional, and I have two jobs under that. Um, the first one is case management, so I am like a basic needs person, food, shelter, clothing, and uh, I, I work with clients to make sure all those things are addressed. Once they are, then of course they can start to work on other things. So um, I collect a lot of information and, and then get started with people on what they might need that's an emergency. The other role I have is a recovery coach, and so what that really is is to help 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 develop kind of a bridge from where they are in treatment to the recovering community, whatever that's comprised of. It's not the same for everybody, but to connect them up with resources um, because we know that if people are going to stay clean and sober, they're going to need some help. So those are the two the two jobs I have here. My name is Sue Winkleman, and I am the administrative coordinator for Samaritas in Ottawa County. Basically, that means I'm an office manager and I make sure that the staff and the clients have everything they need uh, for successful treatment. My name is Rodney Craner and I'm an SED clinician. I do uh, therapy, group, and individual. I'm Kelsey DeVries. I'm one of the SED clinicians uh, for Samaritan Tass in Ottawa County and I do the therapy piece of treatment. A fun personal fact about me is that I am obsessed with board games, but not Monopoly, that is not going um, A fun personal fact about me is I am trying to get a therapy dog so that I can bring them to the offices. So a fun fact about me is I have an almost two-year-old daughter and I'm expecting identical twin girls at the beginning of next year, so I'm about to be really tired. <laughs> Fun fact about myself is um, I've been married for 37 years and I even have a couple of grandkids, so I'm enjoying this stage of life. Fun fact about me is that um, I actually was born in Southern Illinois, so I grew up there, but I uh, moved to California when I was like 10, so I grew up on the West Coast in Monterey, and so I lived kind of in a couple different places throughout the country, and it's just a fun fact. So I entered the SUV field a little bit by accident. Um, substance use disorders have kind of always been a part of my life through people that I love, my family, and my friends. But when I was in grad school, we had to apply for three different categories of internships that we'd be interested in. And I just randomly chose substance use disorders, but that was what I got picked for, and I ended up really falling in love with it. And the people I was working with, the people I was working for, so now I can't imagine I'm one of those people who's really fortunate to know what they want to do, but actually get to do it. I got into the SUD field oh, so long ago. Um, the first job I had was back in like the early 80s. I worked at a residential treatment center and I got hired to be like the technician. So um, I was uh, really fortunate to be exposed to a lot of the old school principles back when, when uh, going to treatment was an okay thing to do and you could go for 28 days and your family could come. And throughout the years, I've been so fortunate to, to have some just great jobs, and, and I've, um, I've been like probably everything, um, except a receptionist, um, but I, I have um, been a therapist, I've run aftercare programs, I've run homeless shelters, I've been in administration, and I feel really, just really fortunate to still be employed in this field and able to contribute. I have um, you know, a lot of experience, um, and a lot of it is old school, but I don't think that's all necessarily bad, but I've seen, I've seen this treatment field just really um, um, develop into something that is, is so much different and um, so much more accessible for people, and it's, it's, um, it's just an honor to, really, to, to, to be at Samaritas, but to work with the people that I work with. The team I work with um, means more to me than um, anything else about my job. It, that experience and being with people who really understand the treatment continuum and how to meet people where they're at is important to me, and I, um, I really love that.
Um, I entered the SUD field starting with my internship when I was still going through my master's program. I worked in an IOP at another organization and um, I really fell in love with the population and the work and so I was able to grow and get a position um, as a clinician and then working um, clinically and moving up as a supervisor as well. I got into the field of substance abuse quite by accident. About 20 years ago or so I was um, looking for a job and applied for a position at a different agency and, and it was substance abuse so I was managing their office back then and I have stayed in substance abuse all these years um, because I just love it. I love the clients, I love the mission. Um, it is a beautiful thing to witness people climb out of addiction. So I don't think I'd ever leave this field. I entered the SUD field uh, purely by accident uh, because I needed an internship and the place that I got one, I didn't know that I was doing an SUD work. So that was what uh, got me involved, like that was my first counseling experience and I fell in love with it and I can't imagine doing anything else. I am excited to see Samaritas make a huge difference in this community. I think Samaritas will become the leader and innovator in this community for substance abuse treatment. I'm really excited for Samaritas to continue growing their partnerships with other service providers and organizations in the community. Um, it's really cool that we're able to offer such a wide variety of services, but it's cool for our partnerships that we're also able to help our clients still do things we can't do in-house by uh, referring them to people who can. I am excited for Samaritas to grow in our community and serve the un underserved, um, fill in the gaps, and be able to provide services for those who otherwise wouldn't be able to um, seek services or, or get what they really need. Well, I was very excited to go by a billboard and see uh, substance use uh, as, as part of Samaritas' umbrella, but I'm really excited to see that continue to grow and us to reach um, you know, if, if, if our drug and alcohol treatment work could have the same reach that Samaritas already has, I think we could do a lot of good for the state and a lot of communities. I'm really excited to see Samaritas like be able to go out and, and this is this is so different not being able to go out and connect with people. Um, but the opportunities to, to for me to have two different roles and be able to work with all of our clients. Um, is really exciting because you know you're going to be able to help somebody in that regard. Um, it's not just like once in a while you'll be able to help somebody. We'll, we'll really be able to step up and, and connect and help these people. Beth? You got to start over, sorry. I have to start all the way over? All the way over. Oh, all right. Are you just running it? I'm just running you it. Might as well just delete this one <laughs> and start from. Well, I'm going to do a bloopers reel. Then it will say slow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, talk with your hands too. Uh, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Ricky. So I'm yep, you do. <laughs> you should always be on TV. All right, this is my time. I'm all set. Okay. Cool. Fun personal fact about myself is I'm a really boring person. <laughs> I do nothing. Good. And then last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>